This is the life story of Marion Winteringham, who established the Winteringham Family Permanent Endowment Fund within the Community Foundation of the Fox River Valley through a bequest from her estate. The fund was named to reflect Marion's wishes that her parents, sister, and brother be honored through the annual awarding of grants and scholarships from her endowment. This video was produced by the Community Foundation in December 2011 in grateful recognition of Marianne Winteringham and her family. Marianne Winteringham was a lifelong resident of Aurora, Illinois. She was the youngest of three children, born to Arthur J. and Minnie Potter Winteringham. Her father was born in Chicago, Illinois on July 13, 1861. His father, James Winteringham, and mother, Mary Ann Dinsdale Winteringham, were born in Yorkshire, England. They immigrated to America and became farmers in Kane County, Illinois. As a very young man, Arthur worked as a clerk for E.W. Gilbert and Company, a dry goods store located at the northeast corner of River Street and Downer Place in Aurora. The store was on the first floor of a building which also housed Dr. Frank H. Robinson's dental office, which was located on the second floor. After serving as a clerk for Gilbert and Company, Arthur became a salesman for the Richards and Sensenbaugh Manufacturing Company, located on Stalp Island in Aurora. In 1903, S.S. Sensenbaugh sold his stock in the company and the new Richards Manufacturing Company relocated to 3rd Street in Aurora the following year. Arthur continued his employment with the company, which is pictured here. As an aside, Samuel S. Sensenbaugh was involved in several business enterprises in Aurora. From 1867 until 1969, a department store in Sensenbaugh's name operated on Broadway in downtown Aurora. This photo, from 1906, shows the tower that was a prominent feature of the building in its early years. After leaving the Richards Company, Marion's father joined the Wilcox Manufacturing Company on Stone Avenue. The two companies later merged to become the Richards Wilcox Manufacturing Company, which is still located on 3rd and Lake Streets in Aurora to this day. Arthur spent his final working years as sales manager for the Aurora Door Hanger and Specialty Company on Bang Street and Parker Avenue in Aurora. On October 23, 1935, Arthur died at the age of 74. According to his obituary in the Aurora Beacon News, he was one of the best whist players in the country. True to his heritage, Arthur Winteringham excelled in this classic English card game that was played in the 18th and 19th centuries in the coffee houses of London and fashionable society. Marion's mother, Minnie, was born in Aurora on August 12, 1869. Minnie's father, Theron Potter, was of English descent. Her mother, Ellen Graves Potter, was the granddaughter of Samuel Babcock, a colonel in the Revolutionary War. Minnie is pictured here with her daughters Marion and Claire. Minnie graduated from West Aurora High School in 1888. The graduating class consisted of only 12 members. Classes were held on the second floor of Oak Street School, which was built in 1885 at Oak Avenue and Walnut Street, now called New York Street. This building caught fire in 1906 and reopened the following year after extensive renovations. According to the West Aurora Alumni Annual Report of 1902, many lived in Elgin for a few years and then returned to Aurora in 1899. To quote from the report, Minnie can be found on North 4th Street and she would be glad to tell you of her eight-month-old daughter, Marion. There were no yearbooks in those days but the alumni annual reports provided updated information on the lives of West Aurora graduates beginning with the year 1870. Arthur, Minnie, and their three children, Claire, Sidney, and Marion, 
resided at 142 North 4th Street, which later was given the address of 166 North 4th Street when the city of Aurora renumbered its streets in 1929. By 1907, the family had moved to 55 North May Street. This address was changed to 117 North May Street in 1929. They remained in this home for 30 years. A couple of years after her husband Arthur's death in 1935, Minnie and her daughters moved to 606 Palace Street. Ten years later, they moved to 33 South Locust Street, the site of this house is now a parking lot at the corner of Locust and New York Streets. And in the mid-1950s, they moved to 939 West Downer Place in a home that was to remain their family residence until Marion's death in 1994. In addition to raising three children, Minnie was a member of the Daughters of the American Revolution and was a charter member of Chapter BT of the PEO Sisterhood. She died of heart failure on October 30, 1959. Marion's sister, Claire B. Winteringham, was born in Aurora on April 7, 1892. She was a graduate of the West Aurora High School class of 1909. In her early years, Claire was employed as a stenographer for the CB&Q Railroad. She then became a bookkeeper at the Aurora Garment Company an apron manufacturer on LaSalle and Fox Streets. Several garment manufacturing companies were located in the Chapman Block, as it was called at the time. From the mid-1930s through the 1950s, Claire was employed by John K. Hugo & Company, a brokerage firm located at 115 West Downer Place in the old Second National Bank building. The firm leased space from the bank at the west end of the building. She ended her career with Rodman and Renshaw, a brokerage firm located on the third floor of the Fraser Building at 52 West Downer Place. Claire was an active member of Trinity Episcopal Church in Aurora, where she participated in the St. Margaret's Guild. She died in May of 1988. Marion's brother, Sidney P. Winteringham, was born on August 2, 1899 in Aurora. He attended West Aurora High School. At West High, he was the senior class president and participated on the basketball and football teams. Wint, as he was called, graduated from West High in 1917. He then attended the University of Illinois. In the late 1920s, Sidney worked for Fraser and Evans Insurance Company. He then launched his career as a realtor and served as president of the Aurora Realtors Board in 1939, 1940, and 1947. Sidney was married to Frederica Winteringham. She was born in 1902 and died in 1996. Frederica was a caseworker for the Kane County Welfare Commission and later the Home Service Director for the American Red Cross. She eventually became a teacher. Sidney and Frederica had no children. Sidney's last place of employment was with Herman Offutt Incorporated Realtors, which closed its office on the day of his funeral out of respect for their employee and friend. Sidney died on June 4, 1960. He was a member of St. David's Episcopal Church in Aurora. Like her brother and sister, Marion was a lifelong Auroran. She was born on September 25, 1901 and attended the renovated Oak Street Elementary School at the same location where her mother had attended high school. Marion then attended West Aurora High School, which was constructed in 1906 on the corner of Blackhawk Street and Galena Boulevard. Her sister and brother attended high school in the same building. Marion was a member of the class of 1919. While in high school, she participated in chorus, debate, glee club, and basketball. She loved sports and eventually became an avid golfer at the Aurora Country Club. In the 1919 yearbook, Marion's tribute to her class was featured. In her closing remarks, she wrote, 
we look back upon the four short happy years at West High with the proud thought that we have done our best in measuring up to the high standard of scholarship so long established in West Aurora High School, our alma mater. Little did Marion realize that she would devote over 40 years of her life as an educator in a school system that had earned her respect as a youth. After graduation, Marion attended Rockford College for two years, and then Illinois State at Normal. She became a teacher at Abraham Lincoln and Nancy Hill Elementary Schools in Aurora. In 1940, she earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Education from DePaul University in Chicago, and in 1942, she joined the faculty at West Aurora High School, where she taught English. Marion added the responsibilities of Dean of Girls in 1947, a position she held until 1960, when she returned full-time to the classroom. In this photo, Marion is joined by her fellow teachers and administrators. Standing beside her are Louise Lane and Hugo Peterson. Seated are Helen Wood, Al Reidinger, Dean of Boys, and George Brock, school principal. One of her duties as Dean was to guide girls in the finer aspects of life, such as planning and hosting formal events for the school. She enjoyed her responsibilities as dean and considered it an honor to have been appointed to this prestigious role. In 1950, Marion earned a Master of Arts degree in English from DePaul University. Her dissertation was a collection of fictional writings of her hometown, which she entitled West Valley Stories. These eight charming and colorful stories are available at the Library of DePaul University in Chicago. After her retirement from West Aurora High School in 1964, Marion began a new career as an English instructor at Aurora College. She taught at the college until 1970. In addition to her work and golf, Marion was an avid reader of the classics, especially English literature. She visited England often and shared her newly acquired knowledge and adventures with her students. She was especially proud of a monument that hangs in the north transept of Westminster Abbey, honoring one of her ancestors who died in 1794. The tablet on the monument reads, Sacred to the memory of Clifton Winteringham, Baronet, M.D., who at home and in military service as distinguished in the medical profession as he was noted for the purity of his life and the suavity of his manners, lamented by all. Sharon Streddy, who is currently president and CEO of the Community Foundation, was a former student and later close friend of Marion's. Sharon visited Westminster Abbey shortly after Marion's death and admired the majestic Winteringham Monument placed among the hundreds of tributes to other notables of British history. Marion Winteringham passed away on December 27, 1994, at the age of 93. She was a member of the Trinity Episcopal Church in Aurora and was buried next to her sister in River Hills Memorial Park in Batavia. For 42 years, Marion Winteringham was an educator in the West Aurora school system. She shared her spirited passion for learning with thousands of Aurora students. The works of Chaucer, Shakespeare, Bacon, Swift, and many others came alive in her classroom and left a lasting impression upon young minds entrusted to her care. What she taught would be remembered, but how she taught would be treasured, because Marion Winteringham taught with her heart.